all right guys welcome welcome to greatness outdoors today we're going to be rigging up this gill net it it's pretty much just the net with some rope so what i gotta do is go look around the beach and find something you know a pole or a, a stick to tie this thing to so that I can spread it out and try to catch some fish. So let's go find us um, a stick, a big stick for our net. <laughs> let's go walking. Oh, sweet. I might have found just the trick. See this right here? I'm just gonna tie the net along it and I'll spread this out in a wheel. So let's take it on back and bring it up. All right guys, so I got my gill net all rigged up. Let me walk you through what I've done here. So the bottom rope has uh, lead woven into it, the white rope, so it will actually sink. So I want that on the bottom. And the top rope I've got tied, um, you know, across the length of my stick, uh, which is gonna float on the top here. And I also have buoys tied to each end. I mean, these will help with flotation, but the real reason for having these in North Carolina, that's the law to have a gill net. You have to have a special license and you have to have two yellow buoys and a pink buoy on each end of your gill net. So six buoys total. Um, North Carolina is one of the only few states that even allows this. Um, definitely look into your state's rules if you're even going to do a gill net at all. Um, a lot of states don't even allow them. Uh, North Carolina, like I said, does. Um, but this is what you got to do and I do have the special license for it. So Anyway, I've got got it rigged up the buoys the lead line at the bottom run across the top of the pole um, Last piece I've got here is this is my boat anchor I'm going to uh, tie it off to my boat anchor on the shore I hadn't tied that on yet because I got to see how far out I got to go uh, With it to see how long I need to get the line. But anyway, that's how I rigged it up Let's go ahead and uh, get it on out in the water now, hopefully catch some fish. All right guys, so I found a pretty good spot out here. Uh, it's right off of this point here and I can see uh, where the water comes around, you know, the tip of this island, this point. Um, it kind of creates a little, you know, soft spot, a little, little calm corner that's a little shielded and I can see that it drops off, which is what you're looking for. You're looking for a drop off on the edge of you know shallow water and deep water so if i can get it out there uh to just on that edge i think this would be an excellent spot to put it so let's go ahead and walk on out with it all right so we got it all rigged up now it's out here floating just fine in the water off this point uh i've got it tied to my anchor on shore um ideally you'd want to tie this on you know on two points if you had one on each end but i don't so i got it anchored here i'm going to go in and wrap my slack around the anchor to hold it tight here otherwise it would fall on my anchor rope and just float on out but anyway i'm going to wrap it up and then just do some fishing around here we'll check it out later hopefully have some fish here in the gill net Alright, so our gill net's been out for a good bit. Let's go check it out, see if we got anything going on out there. Alright, cross your fingers. See if we got anything. No, nothing. Back in there. That's fishing. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. All right, folks, so unfortunately we did not catch anything in the gill net today, but that is how you set it up. So I hope you learned something today on at least how to do it. You don't always catch things. That's just how fishing goes a lot of the times. Again, I was skunked. It happens. <laughs> anyway, be sure to stay tuned. Maybe one of these days you'll see me catch something here <laughs> on Greatness Outdoors. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, folks. Bye. Oh, wake up heart and wake up mind. See the world is to find and